Okay, this is the PHPOH overview. Uh, once we uh, go through this, we ought to be able to, given a pH, be able to calculate the pOH or the concentration of the hydronium ions or even the concentration of the OH minus ions and uh, be able to decide whether it's basic or acidic. So we have several equations that we're going to use and I'll just go ahead and list them down. First off, your pH is equal to the minus base 10 log and it shows up as your log, L-O-G key on your calculator of the H plus ions or H3O plus either way and the pOH is the corresponding for the concentration of the OH and it is also minus log and it is of the OH minus ions and then you have the relationship between pH and pOH and this comes from the pKW but we'll just go ahead and say that if the sum of these two is equal to 14 so we go 14 equals pOH plus pH and of course if we have the pH we can calculate the pOH by saying 14 minus the pH and so forth pOH and then finally we have the last two which is that if you want the concentration of H plus well you're going back the other way and the opposite direction of the log is 10 to the 10 to the X and so it's 10 to the minus pH gives you the H plus concentration and then we have the other part which is OH minus is 10 to the minus the pOH so we can get our concentrations from our pHs so we have a way of going back and forth between all of these different values but the overall plan is going to look like this if you start with pH you can use this relationship right here to get your H plus concentration or you can go to pOH either way you can go to pOH by using this guy right there but the overall plan is going to look like this if you're given a concentration you can use this relationship to get your pH we can use our pH to get our pOH and from our pOH we can get our OH minus. So depending on what's given to you, let's say if you're given your pH, you can go directly to pOH. But you can also go back to the hydronium concentration. If you're given the hydronium, you can only go towards the pH directly. And the same thing if you're given the OH concentration, you can only go to pOH. But if you start out with pOH, you can go here to there, you can go from here to there. Ordinarily, we wouldn't want to try to go directly from here to there. Although you could write an expression to do that. So what we'll be faced with are tables that you have to complete. And they're going to look something like this. At the head, it's going to look like pH, pOH, H plus, OH minus, and acid or base or acidic or basic now let's say you're given a pH of 7.2 now what do you do well if you remember our original plan if you're given a pH you can go directly to pOH by using this relationship right here if you're given a pH, you can go directly to the H plus by using this relationship right here. And so immediately we can go to P pOH by saying, well, pOH is 14 minus 7.2, and that would be 6.8. So pOH is 6.8. 
we can go ahead and get our H plus from our pH or we could go ahead and get either one of these now because from pH we can get our H plus and from pOH we can get our OH minus remembering our relationship right here see our H plus concentration is 10 to the minus pH and our OH minus is 10 to the minus pOH and so we can do that so why don't we do that so we go 10 to the minus 7.2 equals and we pull out our calculator and to do that we find our LOG key and typically right up here is going to be your 10 to the minus and on this calculator it's second F that key and you see 10 with the caret and then we put on our 7.2 we have to change our sign and we hit equals and we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6.3 times 10 to the minus 8. That is our H plus concentration. Conversely, we can do the same thing with the OH minus, and we go 10 to the minus POH, which is minus 6.8. And we put that in our calculator the same sort of way. We go second F, 10 to the X, 6.8, change our sign, hit equals, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 7th. And that is the H plus, and that is the OH minus. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it up here. And we say acid or base. Well, we look at the pH. If the pH is greater than 7, it's basic. If the pH is less than 7, it's acidic. And if the pH is exactly 7, it's neutral. And in this case, the pH is greater than 7, so it is basic. Now we can do another one where perhaps let's start with a pOH of 9.6. Once again, we can use our relationship of pOH with pH to get our pH. And so if we go 14 minus 9.6, Fourteen minus nine point six, we get four point four, and so the pH is four point four. Now we've got the pH pOH. We can go directly to H plus and OH minus, and ten to the minus four point four will give us our H plus, and we go ahead and put that in our calculator too, and we go second F four point four switch the sign and we've got one two three four five we've got four point zero times ten to the minus fifth H plus concentration and we should do the same thing there ten to the minus nine point six and we go second F log nine point six minus and we get 2.5 times 10 to the minus 10th. And we'll go ahead and put that up there too. We look at the pH and we see the pH is less than seven, so it's acidic. So now let's say if we start with uh, a hydrogen ion concentration, let's say we have 3.7 times 10 to the minus 11th for the hydrogen ion concentration and now we want to calculate the rest of it well that puts us on this end so really the only direction we can go is towards pH and we remember that pH is minus the log of the concentration so minus log 3.7 times 10 to the minus 11th and we put that in our calculator and so we say minus key we find the log there it is 
and we say parentheses 3.7 exponent 11 hit our minus key close parentheses and I've got 10.4 as being the pH copy it down over here now once we've had the pH we can get the pOH because that's the pOH is 14 minus the pH and so we say 14 minus 10.4 And that's 3.6. So the pOH is 3.6. And now we're left with finding the OH concentration. And that is 10 to the minus pOH. And so we find our 10x key and we go 6, 10 to the x, 3.6, change the sign, and I get uh, 0. 0.002.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. And finally, to acidic or basic, we see that this 10.4 is less, is greater than 7, so therefore it's basic. So 10.4 is greater than 7, so it is a basic solution. And the final example. Let's say you're given the OH concentration. Okay, well let's say we have 6.3 times 10 to the minus 7th. Well, we need to be able to find the pOH from that, and the pOH is minus log of the OH concentration, 6.3 times 10 to the minus 7th and we plug that into our calculator we find the log key we go minus log parentheses 6.3 exponent 7 change our sign close parentheses and I get 6.2 copy it down for a pOH 6.2 once we have that we can get the pH by subtracting 14 minus the pOH and so we go 14 minus 6.2 is 7.8. Now all that's left to do is find out H plus concentration and that's 10 to the minus pH which is 7.8 and we find our second F 10 to the X key 7.8 change our sign equals and I get 1.5 times 10 to the minus 8. Finally, is the pH greater than or less than 7? It's greater than 7, therefore it is basic. And there you go. You filled out the table from beginning to end, having all different, all four different possibilities of what you start with, and you should be able to do that. If you're given the pH, you should be able to fill out all the three. If you're given H+, you should be able to figure out the other three as well and decide whether it's acidic or basic.